In this first chapter, you'll learn to use four basic dplyr verbs to explore and transform a dataset. This course has some similarities to other DataCamp courses, especially Introduction to the Tidyverse, and if you've taken those courses, this material might be review. The four verbs you'll learn are select, filter, arrange, and mutate. By the end of this chapter, you'll be comfortable using these verbs in various combinations. Throughout this course, you're going to work with a real data set where you'll not only be able to practice the dplyr transformation verbs, but also learn how to explore and draw insights from data. This particular data set is from the 2015 United States Census. A state is one of 50 regions within the United States, such as New York, California, or Texas. A county is a subregion of one of those states, like Los Angeles County in California. You can access this data by typing counties into your R console. This data set has loads of information, but don't worry, you're only going to work with a few variables at a time. This table includes information about people living in each county, such as the population, the unemployment rate, their income, and their racial and gender breakdown. So there are a lot of questions we can ask of our data. There are 40 variables in this data, and only the first few are previewed in the tibble. If you want to see a few values from all the columns, you can use glimpse. Datasets often come with more variables than you need, and we're not going to need all of them. Let's collect only a few variables, the state, the county, the total population, and the unemployment rate. We can do this using the select verb. Select extracts only particular variables from a data set. In this case, you can type counties, then the pipe operator, then select, then the variables of interest. Sometimes you want to keep the data you've selected. You can use assignment to create a new table. Recall that you use the arrow operator written as less than dash for this. This gives you a new table called counties underscore selected. You can print that data set just as you did the first one. Let's practice. 